Okay, uh, we are going to do a little bit of a demonstration of um, the way that a modern car that's equipped with uh, adaptive cruise control or a collision avoidance system or lane departure warning system or any modern system that uh, emanates a radar or a laser signature uh, can trigger false uh, K-band K warnings with a Valentine 1 radar detector. Uh, this is a 2014 Buick LaCrosse. It has adaptive cruise and some of this other technology. We're going to use it for our guinea pig. And just to sh show you, I'm out here uh, on about 16 acres, out here in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out here. There's certainly no police radar anywhere in sight. Just trees, chickens, and such. Now, I'm going to get in the car and turn the car on. And you'll see there's the uh, the V1, and let's see if it goes off. And you can see it's indicating that there are two K-band signals, one behind me and me me one to the side, the two, and there's, there's no cop around, nothing. Um, and it's unfortunate because even if I turn off uh, the various systems that the car has, I'll show you here, I don't know if you can see it, this is the system that turns on the adaptive cruise control. Um, try to show you how that works, and you can see that dash display in there. And even if I turn that off, I dismissed it, I turned it off, nonetheless, I'm still getting the warnings. And the problem with it is that you're going to constantly get that audible and visual cue that there's police radar in the vicinity, and it makes the unit that much less valuable as, uh, as an anti-cop measure. Uh, at any rate, uh, the, uh, the article is over at epautos.com, libertariancarguy.com, and we will see you next time.